So you're already seeing mine. This is amazing. What? So many. Question, why not your cousins crossing? That is crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing a take two, I <laughs> probably will remember. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Rajv Soin, aka Adventure Singh, and today I'm hijacking Chloe and Dave's vlog. And right now we're in the Mara and we're staying at a super dope budget camp. Guys, migration season and we're just paying $68 per night. What? All like, food included. Thanks for suggesting this place, amazing. Thanks for inviting us. Now take your vlog. <laughs> take your vlog back. Yeah. Get it away from me. <laughs> so we have about 30 minutes before we go on our first drive. So I think we just want to chill out after such a long drive getting here from Nairobi. Time to chill. Are you ready? All right. Four o'clock. Time to hit the road. We had just set out on the first of many game drives in the Masai Mara. Trying to manage our expectations, we had no clue what was in store for us. Five minutes out of the gate, and we've already seen a line. We were so concentrated on the lioness that we didn't even notice this massive tower of Masai giraffes right behind us, the largest species of giraffe in the world. Not even two minutes later, we see something moving in the bushes a couple meters away from us. Oh my god. Lion cubs! At a closer glance, we realized we had just stumbled upon another lioness, but this time with her cubs. Unfortunately, only one in eight cubs, roughly, will survive. But these two little guys look strong, and I think we're gonna see them here again in a couple years. Because of the huge influx of wildebeest from the Great Migration, there's lots of prey for the lions. Hence, they all look so big and healthy, even the cubs. This is amazing. There's a mother and two cubs, and they're the smallest cubs and the closest I've ever been to lion cubs. We couldn't believe how fortunate we were to see lion cubs up close like this. It's definitely one of the rare things to see in the Mara. We burn the grass to for the, this uh, antelope, the young antelope like uh, topi, uh, gazelles to get uh, fresh grass. Yeah? Uh -huh. Because these big grass are not fit in their mouth. Yeah. Because wild bees uh, need a, a lot of grass. Eh? So when they find the grass is not that up to their satisfaction, they depart early. This is now the second year. Oh. And then the, the, the population of wild bees is decreasing as well. Eh? A hot day, huh? I know, I know. At least it's cool. So, um, question: When are your cousins crossing? You know, like we're trying to know the date and time because, like, it's been a bit techy these last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. You, who's looking at me? Yeah, yeah. You, I'm talking to you. Do you know when? Tomorrow, like around 6 p.m. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> this trip, we're getting to see a lot of cubs. We just saw cheetah cubs running along the road. Oh my word! The Masai Mara has one of the highest cheetah densities in the world. Therefore, it's not too difficult to spot them. Seeing them with their cubs is extremely rare. 
The cubs have a very slim chance of making it to adulthood, so the mother tries to keep them hidden and safe at all times. It just walked under our car. Our dream of seeing the open plains dotted with acacia trees, huge rivers, and herds of animals had come true. And this was only day one. With sunset approaching, we started to head off to find a tree to sit under and enjoy some drinks. There's something about being surrounded by endless views and such bountiful nature that makes you so happy and grateful. <laughs> We're pulling it out. Oh. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. You won't believe what happened the next day. Oh my god, that is crazy. So do you guys want to hear the most beautiful sound on earth? Wait for it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Where the sun is hitting is perfection. We've had an insane day. We have, yeah. The Maasai Mara is unlike anywhere else. It really is Mother Nature at her finest. So that's the end of day one of our awesome safari with adventure singing and tundra travels. It's seriously been epic. I mean, we've had the most crazy sightings and I don't even think we're 30 minutes from the camp. I know, but our driver's not rushing us to get back because we have to be back by 7 p.m. But we don't want to leave because this sunset spot is insane. Zanilla, what do you think about the sunset? It's amazing. Like, it's amazing. Like, I have not seen a sunset like this in the modern like ever. It's always. Okay, you guys, the sunset is 